Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn and today's episode we're talking about the top 10 single season performances by skill position players in Washington Redskins history, at least since the 1969 NFL season. Um, in this video, we're basically going to look at which players had the best market share seasons. Now, market share is definitely a term that most people are not as familiar with, but basically when you, to get market share, you essentially take the rushing yards, receiving yards, or the combination of those yards, you know, total offensive market share, and divide it by the team total. So if a wide receiver has 1,000 yards uh, total, then you divide it by the team yards, which say the team has 4,000, then that player had 25% market share. And what you do is you take that number and you compare it to every single NFL player. And specifically in this video, I'm comparing it to the players in which they played, the era in which they played. And then you're able to get a general view of how much impact this player had on his team from a market share perspective. Um, so in many ways, this is not really about who had the biggest impact from like a Super Bowl standpoint or anything else like that. But it's just players that in the era in which they played were really fantastic compared to their peers and were really fantastic compared to what the Redskins have had in the past in terms of top 10 performances. So in this video, we're essentially going to look at the best seasons, single seasons, uh, single season performances for the Washington Redskins. Um, again, it has nothing to do with yardage. It's basically about market share data. So, um, and, and comparing it to the era in which they play. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. A lot of stuff out of the way, let's get to the top 10 performances. So first off, starting with the running back position, um, these are the top 10 performances for the Redskins. Redskins have been very blessed with having very good running backs, but I think some people may be surprised that the best running back that the Redskins have had from a pure error-adjusted market total offensive market share perspective is Larry Brown. Larry Brown was the guy who put in um, three 98 to 99 percentile uh, overall market share years, which is fantastic. Uh, when you start to go down a little bit, Stephen Davis shows up in 2001. He's kind of the third spot. Mike Thomas in 1976, very fantastic. Terry Allen in 1996. Uh, Clinton Portis' 2004 season is here as well. Mike Thomas, again, um, shows up in 1975. Terry Allen again shows up in 1995. And of course, Reggie Brooks shows up in 1993. Um, some of you guys may be wondering, where's John Riggins? And John Riggins is, is definitely in the top 20, but not the top 10. Um, I, I think people may be surprised by that, but you also have to factor in, you know, just the general idea that John Riggins was someone who actually was a little bit more productive when he was playing um, on the Jets in some ways. Um, versus the Redskins from a market share perspective. But bottom line is these are the top 10 single season performances in terms of the running back position. Um, then when you get to the wide receiver position, the top 10 performances here, uh, lots of names to know, but the top one, which may surprise you, is Santana Moss. Santana Moss in 2005 had a 99.68 error adjusted uh, market share season. Fantastic in terms of that. Um, below him is Henry uh, Ellard in 1994, Art Monk in 1984, uh, Lavernius Coles in 2003, Art Monk again in 1985, Gary Clark shows up in 1991, 1986, Charlie Brown shows up in 1982, uh, Charlie Taylor shows up in 1973, and a very recent one in Pierre Garçon in 2013. Um, so these are the top 10 performances, at least when it comes to wide receivers. Uh, based on market share data in terms of, the, of how much of the offense they made up from a receiving yardage standpoint. And then the final list, which may be surprising me not, is the tight ends and the best or the top tight ends in this group uh, for the Washington Redskins is Jordan Reed at number one in 2015, um, Gene Fugit in 1977, and honestly, which maybe isn't that surprising, but Chris Cooley had five top 10 performances in terms of Washington Redskins history in terms of the tight end position. So, which just is mind blowing in terms of the impact he's had. Um, but, uh, but definitely pretty high up there as well. Clint uh, Didier in 1986, Fred Davis in 2011, 
Um, and then, of course, Jerry Smith in 1969. Again, all the data goes back to 1969, at least when it comes to the, the, uh, um, the NFL data. Um, so bottom line, those are the top 10 performances at the tight end position when it comes to total offensive market share data. Um, if you have any questions uh, or any other comments, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Um, let me know who are your favorite skill positions of the Washington Redskins, whether it's running back, wide receiver, tight end, um, any particular seasons that uh, you remember fondly. Uh, you know, leave a comment section below about that. You know, and I'd like to hear it. Um, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at DraftCoburn at WordPress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content, and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace!